Do you use Streamlabs or OBS and don't have a Stream Deck? I'm going to give you a free alternative, and it's pretty sick. <laughs> What's going on guys, my name is Kyle and welcome back to the game department. Today we are going to talk about the Streamlabs Deck app. I freaking love this thing. Now if you don't know what this is, this is an app that Streamlabs have developed that provides you completely free and you can use this in conjunction with Streamlabs OBS to change themes, sources, mute things. There is a bunch of stuff that you can do with it without having individual keys on your keyboard to do those things and I want to run you through it because it is a really good tool to have. So straight out of the gate to get this software, all you need to do is search Streamlabs Deck in the App Store. You will find it. It has a Streamlabs logo with a little icon next to it. It's perfect. Download it for completely free. And then and then we'll move on to, to step two because this is going to move very quickly because it's very easy to use. So when you open the app for the first time, it's going to ask you to log in, go through that whole process, and then you come to this page. This is your settings page. You can go through themes, change the mode, look at the support and frequently asked questions. You can also link all your current events and you can also look at chat as well. So you can log into Twitch and it'll show your Twitch chat on the iPad. So if you've only got one screen, you can look at your Twitch chat all on this, which is amazing. You can also do it with YouTube. They did have support with Mixer, but we all know what happened there. So unfortunately, it's <laughs> Twitch or YouTube. Now in the bottom middle of these as well, there's a button that says remote. You click that, it'll open up the camera on whatever device you're using. It doesn't have to be an iPad, you can use your phone as well. And what you need to do with that is you jump into the software and scan a QR code. So to find that, what we do is we open up the software here, we click into the settings on the bottom left, and you wanna click remote control. So this button right here underneath appearance, you click that, don't show anybody this QR code, but when you click that QR code, all you do is you scan it with your device and that will automatically connect the two devices together. So I'm going to quickly do that now. I won't show you my code, but I'm going to do that now and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll reconvene in a second. All right, so now that you've scanned that, what you're going to see is all of your scenes lined up as well as sources, as well as anything else that's aligned with the themes that you've already organized. You'll have a go live, start recording, save replay and configure button up the top. I am not going to lie. I have definitely made mistakes before where I've accidentally pushed the start recording or the end stream or the go live button because it's a touch screen there's no feedback um it makes it hard just in case your, your finger accidentally slips or whatever the situation is um so just keep that in mind when you configure them you can take those off the page so you've only got your sources it just depends on how you want to operate it but if we look at the screen now that this is linked to our streamlabs account all we need to do is we can tap on the ipad to the different scenes that we want to use and it'll automatically start cycling through each an individual one without having to to go back to the screen or touching the anything to do with obs it all gets done through the ipad so it is super super easy to set up if you do want to configure what you have on your home page all you need to do is click the configure button in the top right and that will bring up all of your different options so you can drag things in drag things out hide things unhide things it's really really easy for you to do and then all you need to do is go back to your original page and then that's it. That's it. It's it. Like it's, it's simple. It's completely free. It doesn't cost you a thing. And there is no reason for you guys to not be using this software. And it's exactly the same for anybody. If you, if you use Streamlabs OBS and you don't have a Stream Deck or you're not sure if using a Stream Deck is what you want to do and things like that, try this out. I swear, I used this for the first couple of months of me streaming and it was a lifesaver. An absolute lifesaver one of the other things that you can do with this app besides changing just the scenes is you can hide and unhide different sources so if you want to hide your camera really quick for whatever reason you can do that if you want to turn something else off you can completely do that and that's all done with the ipad that's it you can unhide hide everything you can mute audio you can you can do whatever you want you can also look at individual themes with on on this as well change different themes, change the way that the actual app looks. There's a lot of different things that you can do with this. And the best thing that I can suggest is just download it. It's completely free. OBS, Streamlabs OBS is free to use. You can do both of these things for no cost. You can, you can start streaming today for no cost. That's it. These are the best tools that you could use and it doesn't cost you a single thing. 
And I, I, don't, I don't know why I haven't done it already. You're silly not to. You're so silly. I hope that this is helpful in some way or another. I'm not sure how much information you guys needed on this subject, but if I missed anything or if you have any questions, please ask me. I am more than happy to help out in any way that I can. If you want to come and check out our stream, we stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at twitch.tv forward slash the game department. Uh, I'll leave a link to it in the description. You should come say hello and let me know that you found this video. Also, if you liked this video or found it helpful in some way or another, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Also, subscribe. It's completely free and I will find you if you don't. <laughs> if you want to become part of our ever-growing Discord community, I'll leave a link to that in the description. We talk about games. We talk about memes. We talk about a bunch of fun stuff that Loki makes fun of me all the time, but that's fine. So you want in on that action, <laughs> you should join the Discord server. Other than that, guys, I'm going to leave you to it. I hope you had a good night. I hope you have a good morning. 